Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to another prompt of May Bible journaling. I had to switch up one of the prompt words because um, I it was a repeat and anyway, I wasn't really called didn't feel called to that particular word for today, so I just went looking for some verses that I liked. And I found some M words. <laughs> there's mercy. There's make. Must. And members. So that's, that's a lot of prompts. And I decided on Colossians 3, verses 12 through 15. And this is from the New Living Translation. Starting in verse 12. Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. I just thought that was so rich. It tells us how to be. And what struck me today was you must clothe yourselves. I think basically what it's telling me today that it's a choice. And I'm not sure. I think I've mentioned, I think we've talked about that before, but it's always a good reminder. Just getting my watercolors ready here. And I grabbed the green before I wanted it. So I've done this technique before, but I have, it's been a while. So what I'm just gonna do is hope I have enough water in here so it's light enough. Start over here, just so basically, I'm just making commas. It helps if you have one, I think they're called round brushes, they have a point on the end. So, the idea is to start out skinny on one side and then go a little heavier, thus getting the comma. And sometimes I have to go around and come back. That's okay. Basically, what I end up here is what I call a rose. I'm not saying that it looks like that to everybody, but for someone who doesn't really paint, um, it looks like one to me. And I'm going to make various colors. I'm going to pick the lighter ones for over top. I think I'll just make the ball of the comma first and then try to give it the, or you could say they look like eyebrows. Oh well, whatever it looks like, it ends up pretty in the end if you can you can believe it. 
And two eyebrows come in all sorts of shapes now, don't they? <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, I thought this was a interesting section of scripture for today. If you hear any noise in the background, I apologize. I kind of got a late start today. So watercolor dries lighter. So I'm counting on that so it will be still visible. Kind of supposed to get bigger as you go to the outside, so I guess now I have to make this one really big. You kind of lose your um, knack for this if you don't do it for a while. Okay, so you gently put it down and then you kind of make leaves. Maybe that's what I was trying to do. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Well, it might be a little bit dark, but hopefully it will dry a little lighter as it should. So thanks for joining me today. Have a great day, everyone. Be blessed. Bye for now.